but let's emphasize on key levels so i took this by trade on v25 s index by buying on the key level the key level of support right i was able to predict the price on this level because i've seen past market reaction on this level as a support and as a resistance i saw this level as an important level a level we could expect possible market reaction on right so coming to the one hour time frame firstly before i started analyzing this index i saw levels key levels on the one hour time frame important levels we've seen price reaction on this level as a resistance a support at this point resistance broke and turned supports resistance at this zone broke blue is retest on it the sell to the downside right the same thing happened at this point resistance at this zone the sell to the downside this level has been a level we got multiple market reaction on the market bought from as a support bought from as a support bought from as a support we got about three to four buys on this level as a support checking historical market moves we consulted our price directly on this level as a resistance and as a support so after then finding this level on the one hour time frame i expected a possible buy from this level right i expected a possible buy on this level but before this trade expectations i went to the four hour time frame basically sorry i went to the four hour time frame right i went to the four hour time frame and noticed that we had a bearish order block at this zone right we are likely to get a reversal on this index we are likely to get long-term sales in the coming days and weeks on 25 s index so i saw a nice formation on the forward time frame a bearish order block at the zone adding to this trend resistance basically we had this trend resistance so i was expecting price to push to the upside to come test this bearish order block right for the sales in the coming days and hours i'm expecting a move of this kind a move to the upside to come test this bearish order block so you can short from it so the key reason of me buying this index is because i saw a key level at this zone firstly and secondly there's a bearish order block on the forward time frame which i'm expecting price to move up to for the sales in the coming days and hours on this index it moved to that bearish order block so you can short it so for price to test this bearish order block we're likely to get the buys that's what it means right so identify the level on the forward time frame sorry the one hour time frame and took my buys with a couple of confirmations on the lower time frame the 15 minute sorry the one minute time frame basically i saw a reversal pattern formation at the zone we got this reversal pattern the left shoulder here the the right shoulder at this zone then the head at this point this is a bearish reversal pattern sorry a bullish reversal pattern this is an inverted head and shoulders pattern so i saw this pattern formation which indicates a reversal right which gave me the signal that price is likely to reverse on this index so identify this market structure also this small descending channel or this little downtrend on the one minute time frame i waited for price to break out of it right so on the breakout of this market structure this reversal pattern formation I took my buys at this point because I'm moving in good profits. I've secured the trade by moving my stop loss above my entry and taking pressures as well. I've closed some position on this index. So more buys expected basically. More buys expected in the coming days and hours on this index. Long term buys would say to this key level of to this other block level on 251S index. So the high time frame analysis, what was it saying? Coming to the weekly time frame basically, we can tell that we had a key level on this index. A key level of resistance at this point right key level of resistance at this zone because we've seen how price reactors level of resistance here so to the downside came back to the same level again so to the downside came back to the same level so to the downside we got the sell at this point as well so we've got multiple market reaction on this level as a resistance so at this point price failed to react on the test of this level like we've been seeing at this point price failed to sell on the test of this resistance level it broke above it as a resistance level broke on turn support but price still fails to buy on the test of this level so we can see that there has been a couple of indecisions on this level right the same thing happened at this point so price failed to react on this level of resistance like sell on it it broke above it still broke blue it. so we've got multiple market reaction on this level indecisive market moves on this zone so at this point i'm expecting a proper reaction on this level as a resistance because we've seen how price has been reacting on this level right so expecting a proper reaction on this current price level as a resistance so the sales expected basically on 10.51s index and we have a level as well the key level of support to watch out for this is my sell target level the long term sell target level on 10.51s index because we've seen how price reacted on this level as a support here support at this point resistance here would say resistance at this zone supports at this zone so we're likely to get the sales to this key level of support on 251s index no time sales expected and we have our trend support at this point too we have this trend support we can tell that this index has been bullish basically creating higher highs and higher lows structure 
we got the higher highs at this zone the trend resistance and the trend support at this point so coming to day time frame it's clearly seen that we had a double top formation at this point which is a nice reversal pattern we got the first highs at this zone right we got the second highs at this level right the first and second highs at this zone this a double top formation which is a bearish reversal pattern so the sell is expected on this index and we have this trend support as well we got this trend support you see how market has been reacting on the test of this trend support and trend resistance we got the buys here the buys here and the buys likely at this point which i took my buys on All right so the buys expected basically short-term buys for long-term sales on this index this can be seen on the forward time frame that we got a bearish order block which we are expecting price to move to for the sales on it so this trend support is in addition of our buy level like it's added to this key level we bought from because the same price buying on the test of our trend support the buy is here the buy is here so we're likely to still get the buys at this on adding to this horizontal key level of resistance would say and support right resistance at this zone support here this is the key level basically because we've got much market reaction on this level support at this point as well support at this zone so the buy is expected on this index basically to this bearish order block at this point so i'll be holding this index basically i've taken partial still so my first tp level is likely to be on this red line right and my last tp level would be on this bearish order block identified on the forward type so that's how i was able to predict the buys on 251 s index using simple price action market tapu so smell like button for more trade reviews like this and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel to my 20 viewers appreciate the support for engaging in my videos it really means a lot guys let's do more and then we're gonna have to do